A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. The days will come. In his reflection on the Gospel, Pope Francis asserts that we delude ourselves. If we think we are masters of our time, we may be masters of the present moment we live in. But all time belongs to God, and God gives us the strength and hope to live it well. The Pope warns that there is much confusion about who possesses time. We must not let ourselves be deceived. Thus, during this last week of the liturgical year, the Church makes us think about the end. How can we have a Christian attitude towards the end of time? Francis says that we must be guided by prayer and discernment to live in the present moment without being led astray. Jesus rebukes those who cannot discern the moment and see it as a part of God's time, asserts Francis. The Christian knows how to wait the Lord at any moment, but hopes in the Lord at the end of time. We must be men and women of the moment and of time of prayer and discernment, and of hope. May the Lord give us the grace to walk with wisdom.